Hey guys and welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we're going to show you how to create updated versions of the Adobe app icons in Adobe Illustrator. Now if you didn't already know, the Adobe Max conference in LA has just finished where they announced a bunch of new updates to their major software packages. Now for some reason they only updated the app icon for Adobe Photoshop. We have heard that this is because it's now on the iPad and they want it to look more in line with iOS app icons. But for those of us working on on computers we now have two different styles of icon for a lot of the apps so the Photoshop app looks new and updated while things like Illustrator and InDesign are still looking like the old icons so what we're going to do in this video is try and redesign the older looking icons into this new style so let's head onto the computer now and get started okay so we're here in Illustrator 2020 and you can see on screen this is the example of the kind of thing we're going to be creating today so up at the top we have the new Photoshop icon logo. So down in my dock here you can see that this has updated, it's Adobe Photoshop 2020. Yeah. The Illustrator and InDesign apps next to this are also the new 2020 updates, however they do not have an updated app icon. So we're going to aim to emulate this new style for Illustrator and InDesign. We've also created a new Photoshop one as well with the font that we're using for Illustrator and InDesign. We are not able to get the exact same font that they use for Photoshop we believe it's a font called Adobe Clean. However, even with our Adobe subscription, it's seemingly not available to download. So we've just gone for the closest match that we could find. We believe this is the old font that they possibly used to use and it will certainly do for these examples. Now, as usual, you can download this exact same file that we're working from here and try these techniques out for yourself. Or if you want to just download it and use these icons, you can feel free to do that as well. So over on the right hand artboard here, we have our Photoshop raster file. So this is taken from the app. It's the official new logo, but this is just a raster file. It's not vectorized in any way, but we're going to use this for reference. So over on our layers panel, you can see we have a few layers here. Our raster file is on this middle layer. However, we are going to keep this locked as we don't want to move this around in any way. On our top layer, we can start designing. And the first thing I want to do is grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to drag out a rectangle. Now this does almost appear like it's it's a perfect square. However, if I hold shift, you will see that it is slightly wider than it is tall. Now, what I'm going to do is zoom in and I'm actually going to take the opacity down so we can see the reference image in behind. So again, holding shift, I'll drag this down to about the same height and you can see the image that we're referencing here is slightly wider than it is tall. So again, not sure why this is the case, but we are going to try and recreate this as closely as we can. Next thing I want to do is just use my corner widget and pull these in to round off the corners of this square and try and match this again as closely as we can to the Photoshop reference image. So I think that will do. Now I'm going to add a stroke to this. So I'm just going to choose our Illustrator color. We already have our app color set up in here. Again, we've referenced these from the official logos, so they should be fairly accurate. So I've got this orange color set up first. We're going to create the Illustrator app icon first. I can then go into my stroke options and I want to make sure that this is aligning on the inside so this middle option here and now all I have to do is bump up the stroke weight and again we're just looking to try and match this to the stroke weight of our reference image so I think nine point is pretty close so I'm just going to go with that and I'm going to bring our opacity up again now our fill color should be set as well we want it to be the dark color next to our orange color and our swatch panel here. Again, this has been color picked from the official logo. So that's how we are doing this. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to drag this off to the right hand side, holding shift to keep it on the same plane. Now I'll zoom in, grab my type tool. I'm just going to click here and type in AI. And we already have this set in the font that we have chosen that's as close as we can find to the official font being used. And it is Myriad Pro Semi Bold Semi Condensed. Now, if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you can get this for free via the Adobe Fonts website or like we did, if we just go into our font choice up here, click on the find more tab and you can search for Myriad Pro Semi Bold Semi Condensed. All you then have to do is click the cloud icon on the right hand side to activate 
activate the font and then you can start using it. Now in this example, this is already set up at about the right size as well. Might bump this up a couple of points just based on the PS in behind. So we'll go with 139 and I'm going to make this the orange color. Now this isn't in keeping with the Photoshop icon below. As you can see, this is a tint essentially of this brighter blue color, but this is very easy to do. So this is more in keeping with the older style of app icons. All I need to do is open up our color guide panel. If you don't have this set up, just go to window and color guide is here. Now all I need to do is select a tint of this orange color. So I'll maybe go with the lightest tint. I'll just double click this and that looks pretty accurate to me. And there we have it. I can always outline this text. However, I'm actually going to keep this as our reference now as we can create the other app icons very easily just by changing the colors. So again, holding Option, Alt on a PC and Shift, I can click and drag out a copy. We can change this to say ID for InDesign and I'm going to change the square first. We'll go with the pink color and change the fill color. And then all we need to do is change our text color. And you can see when I select the pink color here, it's automatically keeping the tint that's been applied. So we don't have to go and do that again. And this is all looking very consistent. I'll do this once more for Photoshop, even though it does have a new app icon anyway that we are referencing, but just for the sake of keeping everything as consistent as possible. Again, choosing the blue color from our swatches and again, the fill color and the stroke color to match as well. Lastly, I'll just outline this text. So selecting it all, I can press Shift Command or Shift Control and O, or I could have right clicked and clicked Create Outlines. And what I'm going to do is just make sure this is all centered up. However, do note that with the AI, this isn't optically centered. So technically speaking, it is centered against this square, but you can see it appears as if it's off to the right. So this is just the way text works sometimes. I'm just going to budge this along and that's looking more optically centered now. I'm going to do the same with our InDesign and Photoshop icons as well. And there we have it. Very simple to recreate these in this new style. Like we say, we're not sure why Adobe didn't do this, but I'm sure they will going forward. You can can actually apply these to your software so you can actually update the app icons on your computer but that's quite a lengthy subject in itself so we're not going to cover that in this video but do let us know in the comments down below if you would like to see how to do that. So there you have it there's a very quick and easy way to update these app icons in Adobe Illustrator. Do let us know in the comments down below what you think of this new style maybe you prefer the older looking icons but we'd love to hear what you think. If you enjoyed this video hit the like button and remember Remember to subscribe if you want to receive more weekly content from us. If you'd like to know more about our full graphic design course, visit graphicdesignerpro.com. See you next time.